Hey, I'm Chris Woolley, going to be giving you a quick tutorial do it yourself on home audition recording. Chris Woolley! Hey, let's get started. So, took a trip to Walmart and wanted to figure out the best method for coming up with audio and video lighting for doing self submits for your agency. What I came up with was these reflector dishes right here. So took the reflector dish, bought two of these, they're about six bucks each over at Walmart. So had two of these and went and got two reveal bulbs. These are 150 watt daylight balanced bulbs. They're gonna be producing accurate and true colors. So I put the bulbs inside of these. We're gonna pull back just a little bit so that we can see the two lights that we have, one directly in front of the camera and the other one about 45 degrees off to the center. This one's clipped to a door. It's simple, efficient. I happen to have a door available right here. If you don't, a ladder also works really, really well. Anything else that we can just clamp these lights onto work absolutely perfect. If you don't want to invest in the lighting, shoot in daylight. Having natural sunlight, a window coming through, also an excellent resource. You just need lots and lots of bright light. That's the first thing you can do to make sure that your audition videos are really crisp, clean, clear, and look great. So make sure you have great light. Next, gonna be looking at audio, getting crisp, clean audio. So our cell phone camera doesn't have that great of audio on it. However, a lot of cell phones come with these uh, handy dandy earphones. This one happens to have a microphone built into it. I'm recording this tutorial with a very similar setup to this right now. So what we want to do is take this microphone that's here, we're going to fold this cord down and use a bobby pin to secure it to our shirt. So right now I have this microphone bobby pinned to my shirt. So I'm using this to get the audio into the audition tape. Just make sure the uh, microphone on this clip is facing outwards and not in rubbing up against your skin or your shirt. So just take it, gonna use the bobby pin and clip it straight to the shirt. This is gonna give us an external microphone and help keep the sound really, really crisp and sharp. So now we have great lighting and great sound. Next thing we wanna do is make sure that we're minimizing distractions. This means that we wanna get rid of dogs barking, babies crying, turn off the washing machine, make sure the radio's off, the stereo's off, the doors are shut, whatever you can do to isolate sound. If you happen to have extra blankets, we can tack them up, throw them around so we don't get as much uh, reflection of voice inside the area. So we wanna make sure that we're distract or getting rid of the distracting noises. Next, gonna be looking at the background. In this case, I just have a regular wall. I took a painting off of it, so it's a blank wall that we're working with. The more neutral background that you can have, the better. White walls work great. This one happens to be gray because it was the only area that I had available, so a gray wall is what it is. You can also get a sheet of poster board. It's about $2 from Walmart, the foam core kind, and stick it up behind you if you don't have an area that's blank and vacant for you to be able to shoot on. Uh, whatever it is, just make sure you have a very, very neutral background. Things that you're going to want to avoid, busy stuff like Christmas trees, a dirty house, random people or things going throughout it. Don't shoot it in a bar or outside. Make sure that you've got a very, very neutral background. You want all the focus on you, not on the stuff that's going around. Next, we want to have our cell phone stabilized. If you have your hands moving around and shaking, it's going to look like amateur video. We can easily get a uh, clamp or for a tripod to be able to mount our cell phone directly to a tripod so we have a perfectly stable spot. Uh, here's what the tripod looks like with the iPod mount, or the iPad, iPhone, there we go, mounted uh, with one of those clips. They're available on Amazon for about $10, just a simple clip that uh, connects directly to the head of a tripod using a quarter 20 mount. If not, we always have our business card holder for about a dollar at Staples, you can set this up on a pack of books or on your kitchen table and have it ready to go for a built-in uh, tripod for your camera. As long as we're stabilizing it, we're going to be in good shape. Also notice that we don't have a ton of shadows on the background right here. I'm far enough away from the wall that by the time the shadows hit it, it's pretty much diffused. So we have this nice neutral background, not very distracting at all. All the focus is on me and not on what I'm wearing or my surroundings. So that's good for an audition. That's what we want to do. Consider purchasing an additional app for your phone that'll give you more control over your phone's video camera. Main things that we're gonna be looking for, locking in the focus so your camera's not continually trying to find what the main focal point is. So it goes from you being in focus to out of focus. You can lock it in so it's sharp and focused on you the entire time. Exposure lock is also nice too. So you can get a perfect exposure for your face and then 
it's not going to be super, super bright or super, super dark, but you've got that excellent exposure that's going. That's all you need. Everything else you should be able to find around your house and make sure that it works. It doesn't take a lot to set up, completely portable, and it produces really great quality videos.